As many of you know, Joe and I have few hobbies and interests in common. In fact, we're pretty opposite. But who needs stuff in common? Opposites attract, apart from having a name, which is sort of similar. But more importantly, we have the same life goals, the same priorities, the same attitudes to people, money and work, and the same sense of what's right and wrong in life. I'd say that we're soulmates, and over the last eight years, I feel that we've grown from young adults into parents together and that we've shaped each other into being better people. Without getting too soppy, Joey, you're a fantastic father to Jesse, and I'm sure you're going to be a fantastic husband too. So if we could raise our glasses if you've got any drink left. <laughs> <laughs> a toast to my wonderful husband, Joe. Speaking of looking amazing, I don't look too bad myself. <laughs> Joanne Johnson, I was speechless today when you came down the aisle. I still can't believe someone as beautiful as you would want to marry me. Every day I wake up and think how lucky I am to have you and baby Jess. I may not always show my appreciation all the time, but you both mean a lot. So for a few stats, we've been together for eight years. We met in 2009. We got engaged on Joe's 28th birthday, which is the 18th of November, 2015, which means we were engaged for about 18 months. We've been planning for approximately 545 days, which is 13,080 hours, to which Joe's been talking about the wedding for about 13,000 hours. <laughs> so how we first met, it was a Cold Monday evening in September and I went down the Park Park uh, with a few lads from college for a game of four and a few beers. Little did I know this would be the day I met my future wife. I remember you and Laura and I came and sat on the table next to us. I literally couldn't take my eyes off you. I thought this beautiful girl, she wouldn't like a pinch your head, Ed Sheeran and look-alike with blonde highlights in his hair. <laughs> Though I've got to confess, I was a bit unsure when I heard you say to Laura, and I quote, I'm going to the toilet, I hope you've got a drink off and by the time I've got back. In the end, I didn't pick up the courage to go and talk to you and I never bought you that drink. The following week, I returned, but unfortunately, you weren't there. But I went back the third week and my luck was in. I spotted you from across the bar and as a quiet, shy lad, I didn't dare go up to you. Instead, I just continued to stare at you all night. After about an hour and a half of staring at Joe, in typical Joe style, she marched across and said, are you going to come in here for two weeks and stare at me or actually talk to me? <laughs> to which my reply was, uh, I don't know. So Joe swiftly turned around and said, well in that case then, and walked off. Needless to say, I plucked up the courage to start a conversation with Joe, and she was absolutely amazed to discover that we were both called Joe, which strangely enough seemed to spark off a special relationship, and we swapped numbers. Through the past eight years, we've been on off, off again, on again, <laughs> but I couldn't be happier to call you Mrs. Joanne Johnson. You literally have everything, you're intelligent, gorgeous, a businesswoman, an amazing mother, and I couldn't wish for anybody else to spend the rest of my life with.